Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Building in Biomes, a side series where I like to go to Minecraft's harshest environments and give you building tips on how to build there yourself. This week we're going to go to the Ice Spikes biome, so let's check it out. Upon first glance, it's easy to see why somebody would avoid building here. It's a very busy biome. Most of the people who are brave enough to build here always build some big ice tower. But today I want to try a different idea. I want to try blending two themes that go really good in this biome by themselves to see what we can come up with. Those themes are going to be elvish and kind of a winter cabin theme. So let's see what we can do. So since the ice spikes are the main attraction in this biome, I don't want to draw any attention away from them. So to start this build, we're going to pick a height and we're going to work from the top down. If you are planning on building in the ice spikes biome, be prepared to do a lot of terraforming. It is a very messy biome. There's a lot going on on this ground level. You're also going to want to know about snow mechanics and what blocks snow will not rest on, such as path blocks and slabs and trapdoors. I wouldn't recommend building a starter house in this biome, but with the exception of that dark prismarine, I did try to use early game blocks just in case you wanted to attempt it yourself. I had many ideas for this biome. I could have did a candy village or Santa's workshop or a snow globe, anything holiday themed really. Could have did Superman's fortress or a frozen city or an ice kingdom. Could have did a big snowman or a hanging snowflake. The possibilities in this game are endless. For now I'm just going to get the skeleton of this build in place and continue working top to bottom. I'll come back in later when I feel there's some tips I can actually give you guys. You can see here I really wanted warp logs to work out in this build palette, but they were just looking a little too green. So then we take a step back and we look at the environment we're working in, and I remember that snow blocks are used for walls sometimes. They've got a very flat, smooth, white color to them, and there's no transition between block to block. So we're going to go with snow blocks for the walls, and I think it's going to look a lot better. Right now I'm just going to fill in some of the walls and I'm going to use some dark oak stairs to try to round off some of the edges on them. And then we're going to go back up top and fill in the rest of the roof. So if you're trying to learn how to build in a new biome or even in a new style, don't be discouraged or frustrated if your build's not looking good. Sometimes all it takes is a little add-on or a little bit of a block palette change to really make something you're proud of. Now usually in a build this big, you wouldn't want to leave your roof very flat and boring like I'm about to do, but because the ice spikes are the main attraction of this build, I think we can actually get away with it. You'll also notice I'm using a very dark colored roof, and that is because this entire area is white and light blue, very bright colors. So you want to do something that'll bring the eyes over here and let you realize there is a structure in this area. It also helps in case you're ever lost and can't find your base. A lot of people say they struggle with this type of roof design. I'm tempted to do a very slow step-by-step -step video on different types of roofs and how to get them done on different scales. If you'd be interested in that, let me know in the comment section. By the way guys, with this series I do intend on coming back to some of the same biomes, so if there's something you'd like to see in the ice bikes, then let me know in the comment section and I'll try to get back to it. Now we're going to fill in the rest of the roof, the rest of the walls, add a couple windows, and then we're going to come back up top and do the exciting part, and that's adding a chimney and fixing up these ice spike towers. The 
best advice I can give you for putting a chimney on any build is to just not overdo it. It's easy to look at a small build and judge about how that chimney should look, but when we're building on a big scale like this, we tend to think we need a huge chimney, and we really don't. You need it to be just a few blocks over the top of the build, and especially in this case, you don't want to draw attention away from the ice spikes, so we find a nice medium in between there, and we go with that. You also don't want it to be too skinny, since you're on a big scale, you want it to be kind of a thicker chimney. And now with the chimney out of the way, we can start working on the ice spikes themselves. One of these is going to be accessible, but the other one is just going to be for decoration. The ice spike towers themselves were really difficult. I didn't know what exactly I wanted to do with them. I ended up trying a few things, and I like the way these prismarine walls blend in with the ice and the roof, so I kind of wanted to use that as a transition piece. But later on, I come through and I change a bunch of things to spruce wood anyway, so it's mostly just detail work from here on out. Now for the second tower, I'm going to do a little bit of a balcony setup, kind of like a watchtower. Now you could get up here using a bubble elevator, but I feel like it'd be a hassle, you know, water freezes in this biome, it's all made of ice. So you could use a ladder, scaffolding, or warp vines as an alternative to getting up there. So now for the most part the build is completely done. We can come through and add a little bit of details, but I'm still going to change some things afterwards. For example, I'm going to change a lot of the prismarine on that first tower to spruce wood, and I'm going to get rid of a lot of the wood on the front face of the building to make it a little more open and add a couple flower beds. And I'll be the first to admit, I probably used too much plant life in this build. All these flowers and bushes would have died. But a good alternative are the dead bushes from the maze of biome. You could have filled the entire build with that and it would have made sense. I'm going to add a couple last minute details to that second tower just to help it blend in with the rest of the wood a little better, but after that we are done. But anyway, thanks for watching everybody. If you liked the video, let me know by hitting that like button. Tell me what biome you struggle with in the comment section and I'll try to make a video on it. And until next time, have a good night.